Hello dear students, welcome to Devika's Commerce and Management Academy. We are talking about material management, material cost. In this introduction part, I gave you what is material, how it should be stored and what is the process of purchasing material, how to store and how to issue, all these things we have seen. Today we will see about techniques of material control. There are many techniques to control the material. If we control the material, maximum work is completed. So we can minimize the cost, we can utilize the material in maximum level. So that is why we need to control. So there are many methods. Today we will see only one method that is stock level settings. So at what level we have to purchase the material? At what level we have to keep the material settings? That we are going to discuss. Total we have total 5 types of level settings. What level? Material setting level. Okay, five types of material level settings are there. So, first one is reorder level. So, reorder level. Reorder level means whenever material is completed, once again we have to reorder that material. So, how much is that reorder level? Means to order that material, how much is to be kept it? That is reorder level. So, this reorder level it will be in between minimum to maximum level, minimum level to maximum, in between somewhere they will keep, they will set this reorder level. To calculate this every level of settings, we have different formulas. Only the thing is you have to remember the formula, you have to understand what it is, then automatically you can work out, okay. You need to have knowledge about this. So reorder level, so reorder level means whenever material is completed, uh, as per the requisition of the other party will be in a position to reorder that material. So, but the, for that reorder the material should be in between minimum to maximum level. So, how to calculate this? The formula is here minimum level plus minimum level plus consumption during the time required to get the fresh delivery. Consumption required to get the fresh delivery means suppose say we have minimum material of uh, 1000 units, 1000 units, 1000 units plus consumption during the time required to get the fresh delivery means maybe 2 months, 1 month to get the fresh material. So plus this, this one, 1 month or 2 months whatever time it is going to take to order that material. So that you are adding it so that you will get the reorder level. Reorder level is very much important. Based on reorder level, the le uh, some levels are based on this only. So what are that levels? We will see second one is that minimum level. Minimum level of stock, how much minimum we have to keep? Suppose we have a very big manufacturing process. Minimum material we wanted to keep 10,000 units. 10,000. How do we know that 10,000 units only we have to keep it as minimum level? So, for that we need to calculate through a formula. So, this minimum level we call it as a safety stock level also. Safety stock level. Safety stock means minimum we have to keep. Other name of minimum level. So, formula is the, here reordering level. Reordering level is you know you got it la, already. This one reordering level, reordering level already you have calculated that one minus normal consumption, normally how much consumption you will have. So that normal consumption into normal reorder period, normal reorder, how much period you are going to take, huh? consumption is how much into normal reorder period, generally how much time you are going to take to reorder that material. So, that is normal reorder period. So, with this you will be getting minimum level. Every manufacturing company they have to keep that minimum level because if suppose manufacturing process required material, if we do not maintain this minimum level then there is a, uh, there is a chance of stoppage of production. So, that is why every stores manager has to be very careful about this. If anything is down, anything is decreasing, then he has to inform it to the purchase officer. Purchase officer is going to buy the material. So, it is the minimum responsibility of every store's officer. That is minimum level. The next one is that maximum level. You know that the material should not be overloaded 
over dumped in the organization because it is wastage of capital wastage of your money overload why so that is why what should be the maximum level of material maximum level of stock that you need to be very careful suppose a minimum 10000 as i as i told you 10, minimum 10000 i have i wanted to keep the stock of the material and what should be the maximum maybe 20000 or 15000 if i decide that it should be 15000 only then in between somewhere you have to maintain that stock always so that is maximum level what is the maximum level 15000 how do we come to know that it is 15000 through a formula the formula is here reorder level the same one once again comes that is why I told you this is important based on this minimum level maximum level we are going to calculate anyway this reorder level how do we get this is in between minimum and maximum level only so that's the reason minimum and maximum both are depending on the reorder level now reorder maximum level how do we get once again reorder level same like this reordering level plus reordering quantity reordering level plus reordering quantity minus minimum consumption minimum how much is the consumption into minimum reordering period reordering period also already we know it so the same one if you put it will be getting maximum level but every organization they should not cross this maximum level then after that it comes to fourth one is the danger level danger means maximum this is danger level means excess it is crossing it can be shortage or over but most of the time uh, when minimum level is decreased less than the minimum level then that is called as danger level so whenever there is a danger level so whenever there is a danger level means at this level every stores stores department there will be stop issuing the uh, material a danger level there will be stop issuing the material because it is in danger level the material is very less only in emergency cases they will be issuing the material danger level are you getting it danger level means very less material not able to issue the material they just stopped it whenever someone is requesting we need it in emergency then only on the request of that only for few cases they will be issuing the material that is we call it as a danger level how do we get this danger level so for this formula here we are not going to take reorder level reorder level is only for minimum and maximum level we have started that formula with reorder level minimum and maximum but danger level not required what what is the formula for danger level average consumption average consumption is how much how much is the consumption into maximum reorder for emergency purchases maximum reorder for emergency how much is the order for emergency purchase i need it Com must compulsory but tell me only emergency level only say at least 100 material you give it to me 100 material then i'll start my work so that we say it as a maximum reorder for emergency purchase only for 100 later we'll see later so in that way you will be taking this calculation average consumption into maximum reorder for emergency purchases the next one it comes to average stock level general average stock how much is to be kept we want to keep average stock of around say uh, 5000 average stock. how do you know 5000 formula the formula is here minimum stock level minimum stock level is how much means minimum stock level already you got it this one minimum stock level how much plus half of reorder quantity half of reorder quantity so this is the formula or rather than this you can take half of reorder quantity or half of minimum stock level plus maximum stock level the just add it minimum stock level maximum stock level so this make it half you can take this or this any one one two any one you can take but to get the average stock level minimum stock level plus half of reorder quantity or half of minimum stock level plus maximum stock level that's all so this is the first way to control the every material 
So that is stock level settings. How many stock level settings are, settings are there total? Five. Reorder level, minimum level, maximum level, danger level, and average stock level. Based on this, you will find few small problems. So you can just check out your test book and you can start workouting the problem formula and you understand it. Next concept, I would like to take uh, EOQ, economic order quantity, next class. So this is very much important, economic order quantity, EOQ, economic order quantity. So be, this is very much important. Not only knowledge point of view, examination point of view, both the sides. So we'll discuss in the next class EOQ along with problems. Stay connected. Not only this cost management, I have prepared lot of subjects which are useful for you. Either you are doing CA, CS, CMA, BCom, MCom, MBA, even BTEC also for everyone. Lot of subjects I have already prepared. Check out the playlist and check out your syllabus. What is required? Use it and don't forget to share this videos with someone who is struggling to learn the subject. Okay, stay connected and uh, practice well. Have a wonderful career. Good luck.